Myself, Sachin Shinde, owner of Sri Classes. Our today's topic is numerical integration. Numerical integration. There are three types in numerical integration. First type is trapezoidal rule. Second type is Simpson's one third rule. Third type is Simpson's three rule. These are the three rules in numerical integration. Now we start your number one trapezoidal rule. So give the heading trapezoidal rule. The formula for trapezoidal rule is integration of x0 to xi y is equal to f of x dx is equal to h upon 2 bracket open y0 plus y plus 2 into y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to y minus 1. Now what is this formula? This is a function that is given in the problem. We have to integrate this function with respect to x from the limit x0 to xn. x0 is lower limit and xn is upper limit, lower limit and upper limit. These are given. This function is also given. Now what is the formula? h. What is h? h means what? Step size. That is what? Difference between two consecutive x values is a step size. y0 y this is first value of y and this is last value of y we have xy table this xy table is given in the problem from that xy table we can find the value of y0 and y y0 is your first value and y is your last value plus 2 into y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to yn minus 1 that means what terms in between y0 and yn okay terms in between y0 and y is equal to what y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to y minus 1. This is the formula for trapezoidal rule. Now we will discuss some examples from trapezoidal rule. Example number 1. Example number one given x is equal to zero pi by eight pi by four tan x is equal to zero zero point four one four one one Find integration 0 to pi by 4 f of x dx using trapezoidal rule. You see here, this is your problem number 1 from trapezoidal rule. Now we can really destabilize x is equal to zero pi by eight pi by four and tan x tan x is nothing but your f of x and this is nothing but your y. 
as we discussed in function, y is nothing but what? f of x. y is nothing but f of x. And this is your function, tan x. Okay, function is your tan x. And tan x is nothing but function of x, that is nothing but y. And the y values are 0, 0 0.4141, and the last number is 1. Now from this table, we can find the values of x0, x1, x2, y0, y1 and y2. This is x0, this is x1, this is x2. This is y0, y1, y2. Okay. Now, what is given? Here, function of x, that is y, is given that is what tan x okay we can correlate this to our formula for trapez order rule this is your x0 that is lower limit is equal to 0 this is your upper limit that is xn is equal to pi by 4 now we have formula for trapez order rule What is the formula for trapezoidal rule? Formula x zero to x n y is equal to f of x dx is equal to h upon two y zero plus y n plus 2 into y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to yn minus 1. This is the formula of trapezoidal rule. Now we have function that is tan x. We have x0 that is lower limit 0. We have upper limit that is xn pi by 4. Right? H is your what? Step size. Now we will find the value of what? Step size. And h is equal to step size. Now how we can find the value of step size? As we discussed earlier, the difference between two consecutive x values is nothing but your step size. Difference between two consecutive x values, that is what? x1 minus x0, that is what? pi by 8 minus 0 is equal to pi by 8. This is your step size. Okay. We can find the value of pi by 4 minus pi by 8 is equal to what? pi by 8. This is your step size. Difference between two consecutive x values, that is what? pi by 8 minus 0 is equal to pi by 8 or pi by 4 minus pi by 8 this is also equals to pi by 8 ok this is your step size now we will put all these values in trapezoidal rule and find the integration therefore integration of x0 to xn what is x0 to 0 and what is value of xn is equal to pi by 4 y is equal to function of x and function of x is nothing but here tan x dx is equal to h by 2 h by 2 h is what step size is equal to what pi by 8 divided by 2 pi by 8 divided by 2 y 0 plus y n and here y n is last term and here y n is equal to what y 2 y0 plus y2 plus 2 into 2 into terms in between y0 and yn now here terms in between y0 and y2 there is only a single term that is what y1 right are we getting this formula that is nothing but pi by 8 into 2 16 what is the value of y0 that is equal to 0 and what is the value of y2 this is nothing but 1 plus 2 into y1 and what is the value of y1 0 0.4141 and we can calculate this by using calculator we have to adjust brackets only here we have to open the bracket Shift pi divided by 16, we have to open two brackets here, 0 plus 1, 
1 bracket close plus 2 into bracket open 0 0.4141 bracket 2 brackets close is equal to you will get the answer by calculator is equal to 0 0.3589 this is the final